Game is fun, man. We were playing it late last night into the wee morning hours, and, uh, you know, I got back to this spot again. I got back here, which is where we left off from the demo. And when I got back here, I got that, like, feeling again that, like, okay, we just took care of something. We investigated a whole area. We beat up a whole bunch of bosses and found a bunch of secrets in this area. Came back, upgraded, got some new sh and... The story is actually going places, too, which seems kind of fascinating. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it. Anyway. I don't even know if tutorial's complete, man. I don't even know. Questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. I think we did talk to him about this, yeah. Does the game feel more like Bloodborne or Dark Souls? I would say if you're talking about combat and feel, it's more Dark Souls. Bloodborne has incredibly fast combat, dude. Your stamina bar recovers crazy quick in that game. It has elements of Bloodborne and elements of Sekiro, but if, if, you're, if you're wanting my opinion on what does it actually feel like the most, at this point, it feels the most like a Dark Souls. Feels like a Dark Souls, you know, uh, a mix between Dark Souls like one and three, you know, maybe not exactly two. Uh, I think I took care of everything over here. I think I've properly upgraded. We just got a big knife. Sticking with the big knife right now until something really fascinating comes along. Uh, we did get the axe, but it's scaling on tech, which is not exactly what I got. So. How's your P-Organ upgraded? I got another healing vial. I also got the crazy double dodge. That's what I was working on. Now, I don't have a map. And I'm trying to remember, where in the dumb hell do we go? Uh... Huh. We have to teleport ourselves back to the boss room. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I think, I think back in the boss room there was another stargazer. And we got a new, we got more tutorial stuff. Grinder now actually applies buffs to my weapon. Did you finish exploring the factory? I think so, right? I killed multiple factory bosses. I, uh, I think there's only one door I didn't unlock, but that door I already went behind. It's the center of the works, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yo, true no one. Thanks for the gift sub, dude. DX97, Trial Z's, Envil, Quint Redead, Bangarang, Mr. Johnson TV, Arthur Doyle. All right, let's look around. Ooh, we're getting some, uh, shader popping. Yeah, down here. Wait, back here. Dang, my stamina bar is huge now. Oh my God. So wait a minute, what did I get that was like a double dodge? Does anybody know? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, it's literally just a double dodge. Yeah, because if I mash this, I don't keep going. You just get two. All right, you get you get a little bit of a jump. Neat! That's actually kind of fun. In Bloodborne, you don't roll at all? Well, that's kind of a kind of a misnomer. It's part of the actual strategy of Bloodborne. When you're locked onto enemies, you you hop. When you are not locked on, you get full dodge. And you you learn when you play Bloodborne a lot that 
you lock on, lock off constantly to make yourself have full dodges because they're actually way better than the little hops that are in Bloodborne. Anyway, this looks explosive. Is it the same as this? When locked on, you hop at first, dodge on second now? Gotcha. Outdoorsy. All right. Gentlemen. Through the woods I go. Into the mine? There's mines? There's mines. Ow! Holy shit! Huh. Piece of ass. Okay. Gemini's iron protection. This is a good looking, uh, damn. We are certainly going down. Are we not? Like, we're going down, down. That guy's gonna be a pain. That double dodge is really helping out here. Oh, this double dodge is sick. I am so glad I got it. Big pipe, big pipe wrench head and wrench handle. Seeing new stuff here. Uh, it is buff. Like, really buff. Gather your strength for a strong hit. Hold down the attack button to activate a stronger hit. Use it immediately after guarding an attack for more power. What? You have an alpha counter weapon? I have to try it. Damn. Oops. Take that off. Oh my god. My stamina, though. My stamina, though. Yeah, I'm not actually heavy. It's just that it is crazy heavy. I'm gonna whack a thing with it, see how it goes. So far, I still like my big knife. That's cool. 
Holy mother. Nate. Damn. You know what? It's weighty, but it kind of feels good. Yeah, this is unupgraded. I had a funny feeling. What's the backstab look like? Dark Moon Moonstone. Dark Moon Moonstone? Dark Moon Moon? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, joy. Damn, this is godlike. Fire need hot. Huge can he be? The answer is very huge. I forgot to do this one second. Okay. Oh my god, we're all the way back here. Oh my god. There was not any stargazers down there? Really? Yo, Retro, thanks for the 81 months. Omega whiffs. Dude, I cannot handle this whiffing. I also can't handle, like, my light attack not killing, you know? Do something about that. All right, how's it going? See you later. But when it hits, it hits, that's for sure. Double attack, my god, my life! The hell was that shit?
Use all these explosive things. Although he is like a fire guy. Very well. Much better than before. Assuming carrier's amulet is to increase your limit weight. Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll hold on to it. Welcome back to the stage of history. Only slightly heavy at the moment, which I don't feel too much in my movement. You know, hold on a second. Swap it for the life amulet. I'm still slightly heavy, not worth it. Yo, what's up, Kenny? There's that damn stargazer. I haven't even done the grind, so I'm gonna stick with this weapon for a little bit. Like what it's doing. Bodies. Could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this? Damn, dude. All right. Ooh, different animation for that backstab. I like it. Uh, got a pathway down here. Thank you. Something in the catacombs? Moonlight Town Guide. Moonlight Town is the lowest place in the city where pilgrims prepare for their journeys. Since Saint Frangelico met the one-winged angel and founded the church, Moonlight Town has become known as a place where pilgrims are lifted to the cathedral by Poli and prepare for their pilgrimages. Uh, Andreas's reputation was at its peak when he was appointed as a priest. At the time, Krat was only a poor country town. Yeah, Sapphira! But Andreas didn't mind the devoted himself to talking, taking care of the people. They were even saying that Saint Frangelico himself had returned. Moonlight Town actively helped the priest's good deeds and always acted together as colleagues who delivered the word of God. The decision to accept the alchemist from outside and revive Krat was made in Moonlight Town. After all, it was the birthplace of the Krat we know today. Today, we have a cable railway instead of pulleys and the city of the future instead of a country village. But our virtues remain unchanged. Oh, so they're, um... Uh, what's it called? They are... Uh, who's that culture of people that completely refuse technology? Um, what's their names? Not Mormon chat. Amish! Yeah, they're like the Amish of, of, of this city. Just like how the angel wrapped Saint, Saint Frangelico in his wings when he fell in the cold. 
People should help each other. The place lower than any other Moonlight Town is proof that virtue is still here. Moonlight Town lore. Now my question is... No. My question is... No. Saiyan Shoto, thank you! I owe you guys like 25 gift subs, right? We got, uh, hang on a second, let me do that. I'll, uh, I'll match you. Hold on a second. I'll match you. Thank you, Saiyan. I can do that. Bam. Let me try it. There we go, it worked that time. Yo, thank you dudes. Thank you for all the crazy gift subbing over the past few days. Uh, yo, Waz, thanks for the gift sub as well. Alright, let's keep going. Sheesh. Environment. It's looking great. Good thing I'm invincible during this, because you're a dickhead. Well, oh, that sucks for you. Pink! Hi, Abusa. Thank you as well. And Wild Chocobo. Oh, Chocobro. Appreciate it, guys. What's your favorite horror movie? Actual horror, not thriller? Probably the thing. I'm not a huge horror fan. Not Alien. You know, I, I'd, I'd assume Alien is probably up there. Alien is much more of a horror movie. Oh, good. Yo, Kirby, thanks for the five gift subs as well, dude. There's explosives everywhere down here. Why? Again? And this one, another one? Oh, funny. They show up a second time. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to jump over that bridge. That was weird. There's like a farming chance down there? Yeah, I hated um, Alien and Aliens as a kid. They scared the hell out of me. I grew up to like them, obviously, but... But, you know. You know what I- you know, actually, probably one of my favorite horror movies is Poltergeist. Steven Spielberg and horror are pretty- pretty awesome. Can I jump this? Is this yumpable? <laughs> yeah, it is. I see you. Piece of shit. Oh my god, the entire village is over here. I'm lost. Dude, how did I take so much damage there? Um... What was the, uh, d does anybody know if the other ability on this weapon requires you to perfect guard? Or can I just guard and do it? Is it like a perfect guard and repost? Or... It was this. Hold on a second. Um, payback swing. Use it immediately after guarding for an attack for more power. I was holding down guard, and then I pressed triangle and nothing happened. Maybe I just messed up the timing. Huh! You just gain power from a blocked hit? Yeah, I'm gonna have to try it. 
Yo, Neo Console, 20 gift subs as well. Looks like I owe you guys more. Thank you, dude. God damn. I am really digging this game. That's a bait. I know how this I know how this shit works. That's bait. Something looks too easy, chat. If you play a Souls game and you see something like that, that's bait. Always is. You, you go and hit that guy, you're going to get smacked in the ass by some dude, by like a velociraptor hiding in the bushes or some shit. That's bait. Let's find out. So you look here, and then there's guys right here. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. I didn't know that it was that bad. <laughs> Good on you, devs. I mean, I was definitely right, but I didn't think it would be that way. <laughs> like, they ganged up on me. Cool. <laughs> yeah, the fact that it was bait was bait? I love it. <laughs> you stupid a-holes. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Dumbass robots. Alright. Okay. Quite an arm on you. A counter. I like it. It actually gave me my life back, too. Workshop Union Standard Corrosion Resistance Converter. Okay. I just pressed triangle right after the block. It wasn't like loose timing, it was immediate. Did that open up anything in here? Hello? No. I guess the loot was worth it. Yo, Zephyr, thanks for the tier one. Dudes are gonna throw things at me. Oh, wow. Cool. Evil Gummy Bear as well. Thank you very much, dude. Corrosion Resistance Converter. Physical Damage Reduction Rate. I should probably just use it, you know? Probably just use it. Oh, hi. Junta. Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. 
I still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Are you a stalker? Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. Lion! Sitting here lying. Badlands, thanks for the five gift subs, dude. for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. I kid, I kid, Frangelico, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! <laughs> well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> you, uh, you look annoyed. What I do... Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. I am annoyed. People in this game love to talk. Something's off. Do you see that over there? I recognize dead puppets. That's to be expected. But what is that? Cutscene. There's not a ton of these in this game. Oh, no idea what those things are, pal. Approach with caution. Oh, it's what the people turn into with the the creepy. Bullshit. Not a robot. He's not a robot. Weak to back that back walk. Good to know. The wrench is doing work. to just back walk. How funny. Ooh. 
lucky son of a bitch. Yeah, they're not that bad. What is happening? What's their problem? Wait, wait, their bodies are strangely altered. I don't know what's going on, but keep those eyes of yours open. Big smash. I think takes like 75% of my stamina. Well, they're just getting smashed, right? Ain't that bad. This is Frederico or whatever his name is. God, I pray with all my heart. Please withdraw your wrath from Krot. Just as you enveloped Saint Frangelico with angel's wings, please save us as well. If the judgment was unavoided because of our corruption, please at least spare my child your wrath. The baby has done no wrong. Please let my Charlotte enter heaven. If there's anyone who finds this place, please pray for us and know that there was desperate sadness here. Huh. Where the hell is this going? There's also a door in there. Is this another path or a completely... Shortcut, maybe? Hello. Ah, Mercy, I beg you, don't kill me. <sighs> I thought you were from the organization. Uh, never mind. My name is Janjo. I'm an alk... Uh, a pharmacist. Yes, pharmacist. I'm looking for the legendary gold coin fruit. I was able to use medicine to slow the infection spread. I have the petrification disease and I need a cure. Sorry, I ramble when I'm nervous. Read this. It'll explain things faster than I can. Uh, Guillaume, the King's Knight found the shining tree on the Rocky Mountain. The tree's fruit resembles a gold coins. And this fruit is a miraculous blessing for many people who have recovered from disease from different disease and who have been able to escape the plague the elated knight built a castle and called himself the holy knight but remember sojourners miracles always have a price no matter how captivating they may be M many substances can be poisonous the precise dose is what separates medicine from poison the gold coin fruit might just be a myth but in the midst of an epidemic it might be our salvation can you let me know if you find it? I'll give you this by way of payment. The various kinds of wish stones, which can be equipped to cubes. Using cubes consumes wish stones. You can equip a wish stone to a cube or replenish it through Giangio or a stargazer. What the hell is a cube? The wish stone can be put in a cube to made a... What in the hell? Wish cubes? 
You can equip a wish stone to a cube for Giangio or Stargaze. There are different types of wish stones that have different effects. Using a cube uses up a wish stone, but it recharges in storage when you revisit the Stargazer. People of Ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. The wish stone could be put into a cube made from a meteorite to display special powers. What the hell? I'm about to use this on some dude. C24, thanks for the seven gift subs, dude. We will rise up and look after the land of God. When the angel spreads its wings, I cannot read that fast. Embrace the saint and the cold is forgotten. The people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. They claimed special powers after distilling the wish into a cube made from a meteorite. I don't know how it works, but it's said to react to someone who has ergo and grant them power. If you can help me with the gold coin tree, I'll give you more of this. Okay. I'll be back. I'm headed to the St. Frangelico Cathedral. You can find me there if you need me. Oh, so you're not staying. Okay. I gotta use this thing on a dude. Looking too great. This guy looks crazy. Oh god, didn't wish. I want my money back. Well, that thing's scary. Acid canister. Cool. Very cool. We were down there. Um. All right. Open her up. I have so many tools. You know, I have so much, like, mechanics at my disposal now. Remembering to use everything's getting kind of tough.
Wow. Nice. Uh, some shit on the floor. I'm going to... A mystical crystal that is equipped to a cube, it imbues the cube with a special effect. The mystical crystal embedded with a wish upon a star when used, it can display a special effect. We'll find out what that is. Let's go back to Krat. Maybe I can upgrade my wrench. you go miss I'll use my power to help you okay uh we had vigor uh to 15 it's becoming expensive That affects weight and is becoming expensive. People are saying to get capacity up. I'll do that. I'll get capacity to 15 as well with vigor. Maybe I'll work on going kind of quality strength right now. So, big wrench with a different handle might be kind of good. In fact, let's go mess around with this. I know my way around. Let's upgrade the wrench for now. Oh, uh, with plenty of this. Uh, it's about to take all of my hidden moonstones. Oh, but these are already using crescents, so yeah, screw it. I like the wrench. Um, now. Uh, disassemble. Disassemble. Yeah, the fire axe handle. I'm probably going to have no range now, but it's going to be a buff ass close range thing. Huh? I want to see what this is like. Doesn't seem that bad. Go whack something. Huh. Range is actually not terrible. And it's beefy. It's quite beefy. Oh man, I need more of those. Legion caliber. All right, all right, all right. Back to the cathedral. Yo, Pluto 4, Reaper, Disturb Dodo, Kalsaheim, Red Clock, Biostag, Quetzal, Pedo, and C24. Thanks again, everybody. Shellcam, Blue Wire Studio, Clench Mask, Seth, Killer X Alien, Mystic Ryu, Thomper 90, The Axiom, and Deception. Welcome, welcome back. 
Were you here before? Oh, that was that dude. He is here now. Gold coin trees are said to blossom when plague stalks the land. Perhaps they've already bloomed somewhere in Krat. Good. Whatever this cube is going to do when I drink it. I hear something large. Follow the blood. What in the holy... Huh. Angel, why did you abandon us? The cathedral scares me. I want to go home every night. There's a monster crying in the basement. Even if I sing hymns, I can hear it in my ears. It'd be better if the archbishop was with us. But he's busy praying. Angel, please hear our prayers. Help us go home, please. Oh, God. Invisible wall. Damn it. Oh, I guess we're going down after this dude. Huh? Yo, Torin, thank you. Getting dank. Those guys. Assuming all of this is really gonna mess me up. Well, we got to find a way to reverse this thing. Whatever this shit is, it's extra dank. There's stairs over there. I'm going. God, ow. Didn't walk back. Damn. This thing is too buff. Dude's just hanging out over there. Really, buddy? You're just chilling? Oh, God.
Ugh. Whatever this is, it's gonna be amazing, right? You drop down into that. Okay, don't try to make the jump. Don't try to make the jump. That was smart. It was smart hanging there. Waiting there your whole life. His whole life. Fingers clinging to this cliff. I'm gonna get him. Invisible wall. Uh, nope. Well, this big suck. Okay. Okay, ain't the end of the world. Hi. Hello. Hello? Hi. You! Oh my god, you have to be kidding me, dude! Bye-bye! I want new clothes or something, man. Come on. Give me a whirly gig saw. I don't think I'm going up there. I can hug the side. Extra dank. There was, uh... There was a ladder back there. Just peeping. The Archbishop is dead. Those who are still alive must flee from the dead. I felt that coming from a mile away. Yeah, you. Why don't you come over here for- Oh, you and your friend. Oh. Oh wow, that costs two bars. Ain't cheap. 
There's so many pathways that I have not taken yet, and I'm just still going down this one. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Yeah, it's very easy to get lost in this place. It big. But we are going up. Uh, I'm gonna go back down. I'm running back down. I just wanna know. You know? I wanna know if it's bullshit or if it's something I should be coming back towards. Now these enemies are not puppets, these are people that have been, like, infected by whatever the blight is. The crazy blight. Fish Whisperer, thank you. The petrification, that's what it's called. Good. Well, there's nothing over there. Pop it in here. Oh, I need a trinity key. Oh god, I have not run into another one of those things yet. Well, there you go. Um, there's where the secret is. We haven't found the other phone for the guy. But that is a good reason to come back over here. No phone call yet. And that usually usually had really good loot in it, like costumes and stuff like that. And we got to find the Riddler. Glad I went back. Now I know that's there. Okay. Now jumping puzzles. All right. All right. Jumping puzzles. Oh, okay. That's much easier. Oh! Well, thank you. Hey, can you, like, not be there? Is there some crazy platform over here? Huh. Where do we come from? We came from there. We want to go this way, right? This one's hard to read because you can't see it. I think I can just make this jump even if there's not a broken one. Wait a minute. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Nice. Ambush? No. Actual world, just a reward. Blind man's double-sided spear blade just found my main probably going to be a dex weapon. Yep, it's a tech weapon. Piece of shit. Can we change that, by the way? Can that be changed? What the hell? Was that it? That was it. Wait, I can I can guard and stab? Hmm. It's definitely interesting.
It's a combat fork. It wasn't what I was expecting, is what all I'll say. I was not expecting it to be that. A quick forward stab. Use it immediately after guarding an attack for more power. So it's one of those. Okay. Okay. I made a grave mistake. I think I have. I gotta go all the way back now. Or not? Where am I? Can't climb on top of that. No, I have to go back. That was the phone booth right there. And we're back to the jumps now? I think so. That's the sound of the thing exploding. Oh, there's a there's a bird there. Here's a bird. What does this do? Hey, brother. Switch is the direction of that thing, but not not here. I gotta go back down. Cool. Oh, this is some this is a cool level. Level's great. Don't you dick Don't collapse on me. Crescent Moonstone was for uh upgrades, like tier one upgrades, I believe. Unlock? Yeah, okay. Are we back at the start or something? Now I'm about to fight a boss. At least it looks like. Oh dear. <gasps> oh my god, damn. bitch you huge bitch oh my god you have to be kidding me okay where
And I was like, maybe I can plunging attack this guy. Right? Maybe I can get there and, like, do a plunge attack on this stupid mother. No. So, the nice part is that we unlocked the shortcut. We, we did get a shortcut. And I believe it was back here. Damn, no stargazer. I didn't even go down this way. Didn't even go down that way. It looks like I can, too. So, shortcut to that butthead is now here. was found a secret on accident nice a legion plug to craft legion arms nice nice thought I did that Shit! This is curse. How do I keep getting stuck here? There we go. How do I keep getting stuck here? Quartz, thank you for that. Huge, thick bastard. All right. Vivid ergo. Might as well pop this, yeah. Supply box? What is this? Notes, letters, gestures, costume. Uh, it's to unlock more shop stuff? Okay, so it's a... Um... It's like in Bloodborne when you get, like, the memos and stuff that allow you to get access to certain NPCs. Yo, Whitmore, thank you. 
Ooh, elevator. Where's this gonna take us? Yeah, this level's great, right? I'm actually really enjoying this level. Uh, did we go... Huh. Huh. I guess that was the end of that spot. And we're into a new area now. So here's the thing. I'm not ready to go to a new area. There's all this extra stuff uh, back where we were. So let's go back to the chapel really quick. I, I, I got rid of the poison assholes at the bottom. I, uh, think there's other stuff. There's the hole. Huh. I'm assuming I go down the hole, I'm gonna run into the boss. Or whatever the hell that thing was. But first let's do something that's actually confirmed, which is... All this poison muck is now gone. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Huh. Uh, I don't trust it. Is the box gonna eat me? Crafted cryptic vessel. Have Benini decode the cryptic vessel to obtain a hidden clue? Huh. Is it a key item? Very weird. It's a pocket watch. Not a consumable. Guess I just have to take it to... It's in rings? No. It's at the bottom of collectibles. There it is. An encrypted storage device in the shape of a metal cylinder. Vanini might be able to decode the device if you ask him. The storage device that hides secrets using encryptions were popular among the Krat upper class. Naturally, the decoding devices targeted the rest of the population were also popular. Most have been destroyed. Cool. Glad we did that. If there was anything else. I think we're clear on this area right now. Except... Going down the hole. Oh, you see a blue diamond in the inventory to see uh, if there's something new? Okay.
cannot go down to hole. It just looks like I can't. All right. <sighs> okay. All right. Fair enough. I'm not jumping a second time. I mean, it looks like you can. It looks like there's little platforms that you can do some, like, gimpy platforming. It looks like it. It does? Yeah, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, Chad. I'm sure it does. Oh, yeah, let's go back to the hotel. I'll give the thing to, uh, Vanini. Vanina? Vanini? Yo, Keo, FGC, and Death Singer. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, it actually had two little symbols of the, uh, the things I had. Cool. Uh, Benini first. Hmm. Isn't this uh, a cryptic vessel? Well, I would expect nothing less from you. What I mean, of course, is that this is a humble invention of mine. A cipher device. Once your information is locked in here, only you can get it out. Of course, once people realize the value of a truly unbreakable way to keep secrets, knockoffs flood the market. The trials and travails of true genius, forever copied, never credited. But, I admit, even some of these knockoffs could still hold secrets. Welcome You're welcome to Solonix take a and Fox, at, thank you guys. Uh, well, cracking it. Who knows? It could lead you to something truly valuable. Truly valuable. Welcome back to the stage of history. May I be of assistance? I can decipher this in moments if you'd allow me. I admit I'm a bit rusty, but it's all starting to come back to me. Genius never sleeps and never truly abandons the truly brilliant. What? No, of course I didn't read the contents. Who has time to read anymore? But uh, I could help you read it if you want to. Truly. Uh, strike the puppet hanging from the alchemist's brish on Elysian Boulevard. Dear Al I Adelina, I've prepared a shelter for you. It's an apartment of Elysian Boulevard. You can stay there until everything settles down. I've arranged for someone to take you there. Once you get to the Alchemist Bridge on Elysian Boulevard, you're safe. The address and the key are hidden in the puppet hung on the Alchemist Bridge. Uh, ask your escort man to strike the puppet. The shelter was supposed to be our first home, but I guess next time. Make up for what happened. I'm escorting Alchemist for the bit. We're going to St. Frangelico Cathedral and all the way to Grand Exhibition. Maybe the mission to bring petrification disease cures to the refugees. Be back as soon as it's done. Cool. Uh, let's go to the shop. Welcome to Hotel Prat. This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks. Cinder, thank sir. you. And JNL, appreciate it. Welcome to Hotel Prat. What do we got? I probably want to buy some of these. They're getting to be kind of helpful. An apple. Upgrade special weapon blade to plus E. An apple. I'm gonna buy that because it's definitely for a side quest of some kind. 
Upgrades normal weapon blade to plus three. We're rich. I'll use my power. Feeling pretty good. All right. We get that to thirty now. Make one of these now. Welcome back to the stage of history. Cool. Hmm. This one scales well with what I got. So does Aegis. Uh, a legion arm that can block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embedded device explodes and deals damage to the enemy. Oh, that's badass. Deuce Act Machina is incredible. Okay, I'll try it. Try it. Jeez. Seems okay. Seems okay. Although it recovers. Maybe that was because I went indoors. Uh, did I get a thing for dad? I think I only got one, meaning I cannot properly upgrade yet. Yeah, I only got one quartz here. Um, increase the staggerable window. That's nice. Increase fable slots. Also nice. Rising dodge. More pulse cells. Guard regain. And add an amulet. Mm, that one seems pretty good. Um... Getting an extra amulet slot seems pretty good. Rising dodge will save your life. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Wow, we got more. We got a tier two. Enhances weapon attack. Enhances the recovery effect of pulse cells. Lowers guard regain. Reduces stamina consumption from dash? Uh, yes, please. Maybe I was reading that wrong. Maybe it's like dodge. Either way, it's good. Less stamina for doing things. You know what I'm going to do? I am going 
to change this out for something else in the area that I'm currently visiting and the enemies that I'm currently fighting. We're gonna go flam batters. Because everything's weak to fire currently. Nice. Easy enough. And maybe we'll mess around with this. My way around a Hundred plus nine. Okay, plus one fourteen on the great sword of fate handle. Strike chance. Temporarily increases your attack for the next hit. This seems okay. This seems not bad. Seems like it's going to be really short, though. But still not bad. That's just kind of what I had before. Booster Glaive. Hmm. Yeah, absolute defense is pretty good. I won't lie. It's pretty good. And I didn't make it. <laughs> I always do that. Three crescent moonstones? Yeah, big smashy. Big smashy. Large blunt. Oh, it's gonna be real short. Hold on a second. But dude, a thousand damage already? Oh my god damn. Oh my good god. Alright, it's interesting. I can upgrade it again, but I don't want to use all that stuff on it. People have no ideas who thanks for keeping me company. No. Okay. Let's go. Actually, I think I can just run up here. And we are to the spot we need to be if I go outside this way. I'm trying to remember. I think so. I want to go to that side quest. Let me check. No, this is a bit further out. Yeah, it is a bit further out. Okay, I'll just take the port. Different time of day. Sick. Uh, Krat City Hall. Yeah. 
I think this is it. Yeah, and it's back here. So, the game plan is this. I'm going to try to throw one of these things at it. Just pray to God. Jin, thanks for the five gift subs. I owe, I owe you guys gift subs. Letter with refugee's address. Elysian Boulevard 221B. Love, Adelina. A key is enclosed. Elysian Boulevard. Huh. Have we been to Elysian Boulevard yet? We have. It looks familiar. Also, there's an item over here. I gotta look around here for it. <laughs> Even them blocking doesn't matter. Doors. I don't see any doors. Yeah. A guy with a gun. Huh. Guy with a gun. No, that's boss fight and etc. Just leads back to actually maybe Crot Main Street? Too far? Maybe the second floor of the... Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Yo, Mr. Degenerate, thank you.
Yeah, I don't want any of your shitty advice, chat. Uh, I found it. There we go. Cool. Actually super sick. Owl, doctors, hunting, apparel, and quartz. Damn. Quartz? That's crazy good. Interesting. Cool. Well, that was fun. Well, that was fun. I can actually go get my thing from, uh, uh, from the quartz upgrade. I can actually get the crazy dodge. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We want to do legion effect. Increase consumable duration lower. Ergo loss upon death. Special grindstone. Increase effect duration. Enhance pulse cell recovery. Lowers guard regain reduction. Increases destruction damage to enemies with a perfect guard. Let's go. Enables dodging when on the ground. Okay. So I'm assuming that's just teching off the ground quickly. Yo, uh, Ucker and Astral Moth and Dan Bartlett. Appreciate it, guys. Goddamn. Thank you. Uh, let's go. Continue, right? Let's continue. Actually, no, hang on. I'm going to cash out some of these. Cashing out some of this stuff. Don't you get that costume? I solved the puzzle and I found it. This is getting expensive. To be frank, I don't know if I'm liking this uh, this combination of weapon and stuff. I'm probably gonna go change it. It's a bit too short range for me. Not digging the move set of it. But I'm liking my goofball wrench. Electric coil stick handle. Hmm. The guard fork? Hmm.
I'm gonna try this. Oh no, it's scaling. Terribly. Looks like it's scaling terribly. Because it is. Yeah, let's see how good it is. Oh god. That's not worth it. Yeah, it became a dex weapon. But I mean, that thing's cool. That's why we got it for like this move. It's really sick. But it quite literally becomes a dex weapon. Let me see if I can. I know my way around. Dang it, I need a motivity crank. Crap. Uh, that would bring the motivity up to a C. Not that great. I'll try the police baton handle. I'm not in love with this weapon, but it's getting work done. Probably going to be very short. It's it's short AF. Damn, straight thousand damage. Large blunt. I'll stick with it for now. We just got to find something that I really like. Chat is respecking also a thing in this game. Is there respec items? There is? Nice. Very cool. Uh, Stargazer, let's get down there. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's keep moving. Library looks cool. Something to read? Nothing to read. Just lots of books. Knock them over. Aww. Uh, you don't look evil. Currently. I'm surprised to see who's... Well... Alive. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease, or from the monsters. I didn't die. But my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. Should be easy. The Archbishop was a true saint. He was my savior. If I write his words into my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the Holy Mark as quickly as you can. Her thumb is on the uh, wrong side of her hand there. A little weird. More dank? More dank. Ow! Whoa! Souls games. Oh my goodness.
Dang it! Okay. Let's not go down there at the moment. Those like bear traps? They're not bear traps. Big smash. Actually, how's my uh, motivity is only scaling with A. Bye bye. You. This is why the cathedral was built and remembered. Pilgrims worship the merciful angel. This guy just walking around. That's decay. Well, ain't many other places I can go. Except down der. Down der? There's something behind me. These assholes again. Assholes and elbows. Holy shit ass. Torching you. Very nice. Glad I equipped that. Hey, I'm torching you. Way to stop this shit yet. Multipath Elevator Hang up <laughs> Got me good Got me real good place is a spoopy where the hell are we going okay there's the fire to burn it all out the hell are we going Also go over there. 
Ew. Drunk? Cecil's unwell again. Today, the Adams brothers found her standing like one of the dead at the edge of a cliff and brought her back. If it's mind sleepwalking, it's fine. I'm worried if it's her blood compulsiveness again. I know about her strong beliefs better than anyone else, so it's really too bad. God will be glad with the atoned. Perhaps I should ask her for atonement for visiting the Isle of Alchemists. I have the relic in my hand, thanks to Cecil. I won't let those bastards ruin Krat anymore. This will purify the city. Maybe it will make a maybe it was a mistake to accept those guys from the beginning. The disaster was divine judgment. They should have been turned away all those thirty years ago. But this will be the end. Krat is a city blessed by God, and I, Andreas, will come to its rescue. Why me? Cecil. Jesus. Archbishop's holy mark? It's a ring. Or not, it's a critical item. The holy mark obtained from the archbishop's room. It is the archbishop's item from Cecil wanted to see in her last moments. Oh, Cecil was the, the lady. The archbishop was such a man of character that they called him the Saint of Crod. They say his moral influence even made murderers repent before God. Damn, he's like Keanu Reeves. Shop Union strengthening frame. significantly less weight a dramatic increase in physical damage reduction 4.25 points up that's quite good that's quite good take that or it was was it more weight was I, am I, I always read this wrong right yeah it's more weight but still I'm in slightly heavy so it's completely fine So now we got to go back to the misses. We got to explore this area now. Ow, my robot legs. Uh, my custom PS5 controller was from Battle Beaver Customs. Ah, oh, crap. Some good stuff over there. Oh, that's all the way at the end. Okay. You know, I didn't actually see where this went. Furies, thanks for the 27 months. Chat, you're making the mods work overtime. Chill. Crap, damn it. I can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. I'm going to fight this guy, aren't I? This area... I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. Sure, I don't need to introduce myself. Note these golden wings. Yes, you guessed it. 
you don't know who I am. Preposterous! Everyone in Kratz has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know. JT, Surprised. thank you. Vanini works. I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Ooh. Show me what you're worthy of. Oh my god. Kill strong enemies to gain rare ergo. Alidoro is a treasure hunter who collects this rare ergo. You can exchange it for Alidoro's precious weapons or amulets. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, I have to choose between a defensive weapon or a, a defensive amulet. Enables dodging even with low stamina. Oh. Increases weapon attack in proportion to number of fable slots. What? Upon a successful perfect guard, temporarily increased damage inflicted by weapon attacks. Well, that's godlike. Uh, damn. Cannot disassemble. Damage reduction rate while guarding. Patient smash. Okay. Transforms the length of the handle. After transforming, stamina consumption is reduced temporarily. Yo, what? Perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily. Right after a successful guard. Use Fable Arts to trigger an extra attack. Cool. What the crazy shit is this? Seven explosions. A strong downward blow when you cut downward. Multiple explosions will deal damage to enemies in front of you. Time the, en time the enemy's attack correctly to deflect it and trigger a powerful attack. Oh. So this has a perfect parry... Response? That sounds badass. That sounds badass. I think I'm gonna get this. Right. I'll take I'll take one of these. I'll take the seven coil. Yeah. And uh broken hero. This seems really good for later. So, I'm thinking I'm going to take the amulet in this situation. Everyone, uh, is everyone use the holy sword? It's very heavy. Yeah, the holy sword is super heavy. Hmm, I really want this one. Because this... Literally helps out this. Right? Hmm. Holy Sword is really fun. Yeah, they're both very heavy. They're both very heavy. I'm thinking about getting the Conquering Amulet. Yeah. I'm thinking about just putting this with the other thing. 
I'm gonna do it. I already got a big great sword, right? I'll I'll stick with this crazy one. This like fire thing. Yeah, I'm okay with it. As a descendant of aristocrats, the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Confabulation. Then, remember this hound when golden wings shine. So at the moment... Oh, but it looked dope though. Great sword moveset is different. Huh. Has altering attacks. Cool. Cool. Let's whack something with it. See how it goes. Glad I came over here. Bye bye. Yo, Alunox, thank you, dude. Um, Spookiest Chicken, thank you as well. Oh god, chat, we got like 20 minutes on the, uh, the gift sub thing. Uh, let me hit you up. I think I owe you guys at least 50 from here. Let's do that. Thank you all for all the gift subbing. Spookiest as well. And does it work? It is! It's still discounted. Alright, there we go. Thanks, guys. For, uh... Jesus, T-minus, like, less than 20 minutes away from September being over. But thank you for all the crazy support. Alright, well, I'm glad we came back here. Uh, now I need to go back over here. I gotta drop down here. I didn't even go over here. Wait, shortcut? Not a shortcut. Cool animation. There's my shortcut. Hell yeah. Where's she at? She over here? Yo, Hito Shura, thank you as well, dude. Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, stalker. Was it? It's a reminder of the quiet power. What was it? Huh. Go back to hotel. 
Um, see if I can upgrade this sword now. This is why I didn't want to spend all my resources from before. I was assuming I was going to run into something good. I know my way around a weapon. Oh, it requires different upgrade materials. Oh, shit. Dark Moon Moonstone of the Covenant now. Oh, shit. I... Fair enough. Oh, it's weird. It's very weird. Like a little late. It's like a little late. I know my way around a weapon. Oh, oh, I can actually bump up its motivity, but I need, um, <clears throat> Motivity cranks. Don't got him yet. Don't got him yet. What in the dumb shit? Yeah, these parries are tough. They are not easy. I'll use my power. Can I even hit a level up here? Uh, I can. Okay. All right, all right. Let's get back to it. Um, where are we going in this library? Oh, the butler sells cranks. Oh, God. Really? I'll go back and I'll check that out the next time we do it. What the hell is down here? As I sing praise for a new saint has arrived, Saint Andreas will... Something. Consecrate this land. Oh, this is a wish upon a star. Oh dear. Uh, here we go.
No, there's no two-handing weapons in this game. Oh, that's badass. This thing was the Archbishop? What? Music's cool. Decay. Let me attack you. I said, let me attack you. Well, not let me attack you. Oh, God. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. We good. Got, uh, half health. <clears throat> Saw a couple of attacks. The tongue is definitely the part that is going to be the most parryable. At least it seems that way.
Oh my god, the range. Oh no. This guy is also a bitch. Oh no. Oh no. He's got a mouth for a face. Oh no. Oh no. And you're a wizard? Where the hell? That was, that was definitely some Elden Ring shit. Alright. Alright, that was definitely some Elden Ring shit. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I think we're doing good enough damage and shit. I feel good. It's just getting that first, uh, that first phase not to suck. I wonder if I can actually light him on fire in the first phase. He's a bug, man. Like, all these guys are weak to fire. So many attacks. a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Jeez, dude. I got my big parry. He's still got a lot of goddamn health, you know? He still has a shit ton of health in this phase. Um, I'm a little curious. I'm a little curious. to do the big smash, right? 
close range, big smashing. Give me a wrench. Okay, wrench is, uh, you know, putting a wrench in it, that's for sure. Feeling that lack of range now, that's for sure. Oh, that part of the body doesn't take nearly as much damage. Shit. Dude. I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something weird. Yeah, I hesitated super hard. I, I was like thinking he was going to go for one of the attacks that you space out pr pr previously. He just didn't do it. I was like, uh, what? So the fable art on this handle is what again? This is the... Oh, temporarily increases your attack for the next hit. Is that it? Oh, you have to activate it though. I have to activate it. It doesn't just work. I have to activate it. Okay. So if I use it right before like a, a big crazy strike, that should work, right?
my god, that was really fast. Putting in work. the back which is easier or not or not they hit me up with that decay I gotta hit him from the front. Yeah, so it isn't, uh, it looks like hitting the backside is uh, messing up my durability. Like hitting him on the, the weird and his butt. Oh, is it the decay that does that? I see, I see, I see, how funny. All right, third or fourth try. Jesus. My timing. Damn. Oh, that's right. The follow-up attack. Okay, 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 okay. My bad. My bad. Yeah, dodging red attacks is brutal. Like, you have to really be out of range of them. Or it's parry only, you know? But I think if you parry red attacks, I think it gives you huge stagger, right? Like, you get massive stagger. The only problem with this uh, weapon is that it essentially forces me to uh, be up close and parry the shit out of him, you know? Forces me to have to engage. Come 
Bam, bam, bam. attacks were in there like six or seven six or seven attacks so the cool part is that my my fire buff uh almost immediately lights them on fire gives them a good toast and Damn it, Bobby, just die. God, how many attacks? Oh, he won't let me like get to the other side. Oh, that was fast. Um, I just realized I don't have my cube, right? I don't have my cube. Uh, so I should probably throw that in my inventory. Some point. Temporarily restores HP. Cool. Uh, the last, last resort sort of thing.
From Rome. Good phase one. Oh God, it flipped. Slam after this big laser? Best attempt? No, we got him down to like 2%, unfortunately. Unlike our uh, fifth or sixth try, we got him down to like 2%. I ran out of healing. And then he did something weird to me. Yeah, I didn't get him on fire that time. I gotta be more careful when I light him on fire uh, for the, the butt version, because the butt version seems a lot easier to fight than his goofy, crazy uh, centipede face. Jeez, you're a bitch now. Oops, wrong one. I pressed uh, left trigger. My bad. Yeah, the head moves so much up and down. And if you don't have a, a fast, I'm sorry, if you don't have a long range weapon, you get effed up, dude. It's like, oh God, I can't hit this shit. Yo, Lodi Kevin, thank you. It's actually a super fun fight. I have no big complaints about it yet actively feel like I'm getting better at it, you know? Feels very fun. attack.
Whack him. Didn't block that. Oh, the camera de locked or some shit. Oh, my God, that was bad. Ah, I didn't get that parry. Jeez. Um, the other time I was fighting this dude, I got his health down so fast in that second phase. I think it's because I lit him on fire, and I'm not exactly sure what I did extra to light his ass on fire. It was either a little bit of the, the flamberge and the, the buff. You know what I should be doing? Holy shit. Fire abrasive. There we go. I think I ran out of stamina hard. I was trying to get him down quicker. I actually like this fight a lot. I think it's crazy fun. It's now it's like it's got this fun element where the, the first phase seemed really difficult. And now it's just like, oh, let's just plow through the first phase as fast as possible and try to save as much healing. This is a yeah, it's a nice balance between being really difficult and pretty fun. God, that went so fast. Piece of shit. This one was being a bitch. This one was being a bitch.
Hammer's a little squirrely. a giant splash damage oh god gotta be up close for that shit you see him doing laser you run up to him and then he does his butt slam okay yeah avoid the height beam and then uh get the hell out of there <laughs> vacuum and splash damage because it's funny Crap the range. Holy crap the range. so much crazy damage you piece of shit Am I? I'm dead. Oh god damn it. I think I got fucked up from the wall. Haven't survived it yet, you know? That that attack, I've gotten away from the laser, but the butt slam after seems to have just as much damage and just as big as a hitbox. It's huge. Huge ass death.
No healing use. Okay. Sucks, dude. God, different attack. I'm trying to get away from the booty. I'm trying to get away from the booty. The dang old booty attack. Uh, I ran out of stamina almost completely or else I would have just kept whooping his ass. Uh, I was just looking at him. I'm like, I'm just going to keep smacking him until he breaks stagger here. And he, I, I was out of stamina. Whew, felt good though. Yeah, I do. I almost, I think I needed like the most slight, like a 10% more stamina and I would have been okay. I could have done a charged R2. Would have gotten him. bad. Not feeling super hot about this one. Gonna just let myself get KO'd. Not feeling too hot about this one. Yeah, the reach burns, man. The damage is good, but the reach burns. I'd argue this is my most fun, uh, the most fun boss fight in the game so far. It's quite good. Yo, Thex, thank you. didn't last long at all. Can't see shit, Captain. dude <laughs> what the fuck am i looking at this dude has me literally like crammed into the corner <clears throat> it's a tough part where if i am uh fighting him straight up the natural course of the fight pushes me like back into the corner you know it's not a, it's not like a forward momentum it's a backwards momentum 
So I am like, oh god, by the end of this shit, I am just like crammed into this wall. Use that attack there. Sometimes misses. That was delayed. As I can explain. Uh, trashy. Trashy round one. Seen this before. guy beat him with my stupid wrench so much fun really fun fight god damn man i liked it a lot wait that guy's disappearing too all the bosses we beat are disappearing Twisted Angel Ergo. I want to go back to the old craft. The old me. Before the greed overtook me. Cool. Really goddamn fun fight. 